Hello everyone, welcome to this video lecture on dynamic CMOS logic. Here the circuit is showing the dynamic CMOS general structure. The dynamic CMOS will be having a clock signal as input to the pre-charge PMOS transistor and to the gate of evaluate transistor of NMOS. So the logical circuit we are going to write by using N transistors network it will be acting as a pull down network and we will be having a single PMOS transistor and we are calling it as a pre-charge transistor and one more N transistor under N transistor network to evaluate the logic. Now we will see how actually this circuit is going to behave when we are going to provide the clock signal. Here you can observe the timing diagram. When clock is 0, the output is VDD, means output is logic 1. When clock is equal to 1, it is evaluate state and output will be evaluated as per the logic. If, if there is any path from the output reaches ground, if any of the input is high, so that output will be 0. If any path reaches to the ground in the pull down network, it will be the output will be reaches to zero. There will be a chance of getting zero output only in the evaluate state. In the pre-charge state, output will be one. That's why the output is pre-charged to one when clock is equal to zero, we can say. How that output is going to be one in pre-charge state? Because of clock is equal to zero, this PMOS transistor is turning on and this evaluate transistor is turning off. Even if we are going to provide the different kind of inputs over here, there is no direct path from output to ground because of this evaluate transistor is in off state. There will be an open circuit between the ground terminal and the output. And this pre-charge PMOS transistor is on, it will make the contact to VDD terminal and the output terminal so that the output capacitor is going to charge. This is how the dynamic CMOS logic is going to work. So in place of N transistor network, that is the pull down network, if you put the transistor connections as per our logic, this dynamic CMOS logic is going to work as per the logic what we are going to write. Thank you.